Uh huh. It's black, and now it's white. There we are. We're all good again. Right. Just so you know, when it goes to black screen, you can all hear. You can all still hear my voice, right? I'm just just going to uh confirm this. When it goes black, you can hear my voice, yeah? Awesome. I'll, I'll take that as a resounding yes. Um. So what I'll do, I'll just keep reading, because all it takes, it's literally two seconds, and within ten seconds, it's back on. So once you can hear my voice, I'll keep reading, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you know the thing. Right then. Um. So it's a good omen that our initiation finishes today. Now let me finish sleeping. <laughs> she pulls the covers over her head. All right, well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try not to stop. Hang on, well, I'm already awake, because I might as well make an early day out of it. Dot, dot, dot. There's no music. All right, fuck it, we'll leave. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and keep, like, the gameplay fluid, but I'll just answer this question from Jack quickly. Uh, Chris, why are you known as Tenarium? I'm actually going to do a vlog and answer certain uh, questions like this. But the reason why, and it's such a dull fucking reason as well, you're going to be well disappointed, is uh, when I was, I used to, uh, well, I say I used to, I still am known over here as Pikachu uh, for reasons that I'm definitely not going to mention. And one day I was playing Pokemon, and I just caught a Poliwhirl. And I make up random... <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Uh, I make up random nicknames for my Pokemon. Uh, so they're just like random shit. And I decided to name my Poliwhirl Tenarium. Because that was just the first thing that came off the top of my head. Tenarium. And I like that name and it stuck so I started using it online. There you are. <laughs> How dull is that story? <laughs> I mean... It's really boring when people find out. They're always disappointed. They, they always think there's like some magical adventure. Like I went to fucking Narnia and back. But unfortunately not. <sighs> right then. Anyway, carrying on with Magical Diary. As I'm walking through the halls, I hear the sound of familiar footsteps. Oh great, so much for this being a lucky day. Good morning, Miss YOLO. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Oh, Kyok. Stanley, uh, scrolled back there. Uh, I believe that I owe you something of an apology. An apology? I did not give you a chance to explain your actions, because I believe that I already knew the reasons behind them. You may not be aware of this, Miss Yolo, but it is considered a traditional initiation prank to order freshmen to proclaim their love for me. The very thought of which fills them with horror. Oh no 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 no. We're trying to do that. We're trying to do that. Right. Uh... Since it was not your intent to disrupt my lessons, I will cancel your detention and return the 10 merits I took away from you. And another 10 for having the courage to, uh, to admit that you had written the letter and in the apology for the lesson you missed out on. Thank you, sir. Please do not feel that this makes us friends, Miss Yolo. It makes us more than friends. So, just, uh, <laughs> just saying. Uh, Ray, you're not getting known as why I'm called Pikachu. You can sort off. Uh, <laughs> it's simply a matter of redressing the balance. Yes, sir. Right then. Here we are, and we're back into the free week, and now... Oh, God. Oh, now it's the end of... Whatchamacallit? Um, initiation. After the day's activities, we're all called together into the gym again. Just freshmen at first standing together... Uh, in a confused herd and whispering about the crazy tasks we've done this week. Like, rape. Uh, then we hear the sounds of heavy bootsteps marching in union. Bow down, look up, you're too tall, don't turn your back to me, lower, lower! After a few minutes, we're all lying flat on our backs to the floor. And Ray, just a quick thing, you seem to be disappointed that... I'm not telling you why I'm called Pikachu. You know why I'm called Pikachu. I've told you before. <laughs> right. Um, that's when William takes the stage. Uh, welcome, freshman. It's time for the final phase of your initiation. Karina will be passing out the blindfolds. Please put them on. A long-haired girl from Snake's Hall tiptoes around the room delicately, placing a strip of dark fabrics in the hands of each freshman. They are also known as a condom. Blindfolded. What, uh, what are they planning to do to us? 
Well, if they bend us over, I'd run. That's all I'm saying. Giggity. <laughs> well, everyone else is doing it. Oh, dear. Okay, now I can't see and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you wear a blindfold, you stupid cock. Uh, I hear moving around, whispering one or two giggles. I wait. Eventually, I feel a hand touching my shoulder. Sit up. Carefully. Now, on your feet. I stand up with unseen hands under my elbows, steadying me. Then one of the hands pushes me. Hey! Round and round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Uh, I feel myself spun around, passed from hand to hand. Uh... Stop! They hold me swaying in place. And yes, just, just to answer Lila's thing, there's going to be something called Wolf Hall. But it's not out for a long time. I just thought I'd point out. <laughs> it's not out for a long time. Once it is out, I'm going to play it. But it's now for a while. Right, for your own safety, do exactly what I tell you. Walk forward. Slowly. The voice sounds familiar. Well, whatever. I'll play along. I'll follow the instructions of the voices and try to guess where I'm going. Through the buildings, out a door, across the grounds. Thanks, Jack, for that message over Steam again. <laughs> uh, step up. Careful now. Don't hit your head. It'd be terrible if you felt that cock before you needed to. Um, I feel a hand at the top of my head guiding me into... A van? Sit down, I'll strap you in. Oh, is that what they say? Um, I can hear other people being guided into the remaining seats. So, okay, we're going for a drive. To the mall? To a cave? To a hotel? To a secret underground temple? I love this. It's just like, we us, schoolgirls, by much older people, are being escorted with blindfolds on into a van. Does no one see this and go, hmm? You know what? This seems a little bit fishy. This is weird. But no, clearly not. Oh, right. Um. Is it going to see there? Dot, dot, dot. At last we arrive and are carefully ushered out of the car. Surprise! Oh dear, well that's not what I wanted to fucking see. That's, that's horrible. Oh dear. Can I put my blindfold back on? That. That was a nice eruption. I like that. Also, Jack, uh, if you do buy me a game on Steam, um, yes, I do. Uh, I've done quite a few podcasts with the chaps over at Late Night Steamer, and we have something called the Snuggle Truck Rule, where we buy each other a game and we, they have to play it on their channel. And I've bought them some horrible games, like oh, terrible, terrible games, like a Dinner Date. That's terrible. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, yeah, Anagra knows what I'm on about. The snuggle truck rule. The snuggle truck rule. And, yeah, some of the shite that Scott's had to play because of me is brilliant. So I assume that the same will have to apply for me. So, yes, Jack, if you buy me a game, I assume I'll have to play it. <laughs> uh, Lady Dragon, if you don't know what snuggle truck is, it's a... Um, it's It's... It's hard to put into words because it's a good game, but you would not know that from off the face. And don't buy me Jolly Rover, I've already got it. What? Initiation is over, now it's time for the party! Orgy on a beach, orgy on a beach, no. No, no orgy on a beach. Group of students lounge around by the lakeside, seniors and freshmen mingling freely. Long tables groan under watermelons, punch bowls and chafing dishes. Chafing dishes? Oh dear, that sounds horrible. Uh, there's soda and barbecue and games, and presents from the seniors to their freshmen. You bought me a present? Actually, we were supposed to make them, but I've never been very good at that sort of thing, so... Here. He hands me a small box. Inside, I find... Butter. This is the scene I was mentioning earlier. Isn't it great? Butter. Oh, God. Of all the things to get as a present, butter. Oh dear. Right. And you don't have to share it with anyone. I giggle. Oh dear. <laughs> Should I put my fingers into the butter and just like lick them all off sensually? But I'll do it in front of Grabner. Because, you know, he's probably into that shit. He smiles at me and seems so perfectly happy that I can't imagine anyone would ever think of him as an evil demon. I can. Hmm. 
Come on, let's join the party. It's just getting started. Uh, all right, everybody's here. This would be a good chance to get my roommates to meet Damien and see that he's not a bad guy. But if that backfired and they said something mean to him, it could spoil the party. What should I do? Uh, shall I just have fun? Just party down. Do the conga. Do the uh, the spiritual dance. Is I'm pretty sure that's nothing. But <laughs> you know, you get the idea. Ellen, 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 fun, Ellen. All right. Uh, the majority. Oh God, neither. Hmm. See, most people saying Ellen, but Luna, she says just have fun. This puts me in a difficult decision. Ooh, I can't quite decide what I want to do now. You know, I, I'm literally going to wave my finger up and down. And whatever one I land on, uh, that's the one that's going to be done. Bam. Girls just want to have fun fun. Oh, great. All right. <laughs> I assume that means just have fun. So, just have fun. All right, there we are. Did anyone bring games? Are we allowed in the water? It's too bad we didn't bring swimsuits. I'm not sure I can swim wearing robes. You could always take them off. Pedo in the house. Oh dear. What? Just kidding. Yeah, we can swim here. There's a safety barrier set up block. Set to block off the deep parts. You probably should take off your cape, but robes are fine. They won't be too heavy. Only when you get out of the water, then I can dry you off. Oh, that's not what I want. Like William did for Virginia. Oh, God, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> if you'd rather play games, there are hoops and darts. So, like, lawn darts. Yeah, lawn darts, I thought those were illegal. What's a lawn dart? Things with metal tips that you throw and try to stick in the ground. Like javelins, I think. I'm not sure. I've never seen one. I just heard they're dangerous. How are they dangerous? They're on the Wii. If they're on the Wii, they can't be that bad. What? Not weapons? These are for games. Yeah, fucking weirdo. They're not real darts. They're sticks with feathers on the end. You throw them at the hoop and while it rolls. Anyway, we can do whatever you like. The party's for you, you know. Oh, shit. My, uh chat went all weird there um i mean it's for the freshmen so should you get some food find a game or get wet what is it with this game is it definitely that is, is it definitely like did someone write these innuendos deliberately this is Oh, God, what do you want? Well, I certainly don't want to get wet in front of you, sir. Oh, God. Also, just a quick thing, Jack. I've already got XCOM. I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> you might want to check through my games before. All right, let's swim then. The water looks nice. Oh, my God, she's chosen the let's get wet option. Oh, dear. Last one in Kisses a Hula. And so we spend the afternoon having a good time together. Getting wet. Oh, God. Um, on Saturday morning, I wake up to find employees under the door again. Ah, uh, oh, and employees, envelopes, our allowances, and one extra. My parents finally wrote to me. Yes! Get in there! $2,005 now! Yes! Oh, God, now I'm rich. Before I was poor, but now... Oh, shit's gone down. Right. I open up the envelope, intending to skim through it quickly, but it turns out there's not much to skim through. They send their love and their hope they're having fun at boarding school. That's it. Right. No mention of what they've been doing. No questions about any friends I've made. Not even any questions about magic. How can they not ask about magic? Before I got here, I had no idea what was possible. There had only been a brief moment of magic back when I was 13, before the officials came down to turn off the power and give me the choice. The three years I had to wait and wander. Uh -huh. And now I'm finally starting to discover this entire world of possibilities, and they don't even ask? God, I should write back to them, telling them I'm a shagger teacher. Fucking uh, reply quickly. 
Maybe they don't want to bother me in case I'm busy, or they'll have to figure I'll tell them what I want to tell them. I still haven't written. I am so bad. Oh, I need a spanking from Gravener. I will write them a letter tomorrow. Dot. Really? I, uh, I will. But for today, I have decided whether to go out or not. Well, we're going out. We're going out. Students are lining up out the side of the school. Waiting for a free seat in one of the shuttle vans that travel between here and the local... Shuttle vans? Shuttle vans? What is this? It's like just a van with wings on the front. Go fast stripes at the side. Come on, we can ride together. Wait a minute. What is it? We're still in uniform. So? Why do people stare at us because we're all wearing capes? This capes are pretty normal. Just start pointing that out. Nah. I once went into a shop with a uh, banana costume on and a cape. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was worth mentioning. Just did. Uh, just stuck naturally. It's no big deal. And it's nowhere near Halloween. Since the teachers aren't saying anything, I suppose that's what we're supposed to do. The mail is not... <laughs> the mail. The mall is not very large or crowded. At least that's where... Where I'm standing, witches and wizards easily outnumber shoppers in ordinary clothes, but no one reacts to sight. I guess if students come here all the time, they get used to it. Okay, this place has coffee, pastries, they have fish, fruit, that one does baked potatoes, there's a gift shop, there's a cafe, and all of these stores are magical? No, there's only one magic shop, they sell ones and stuff. I'm going to get a chocolate croissant. What about you? Um, I'd assume we're going to go to the magic store then. Hmm. Cock, my uh, bottle of cider is running out, which makes me sad. Hmm. Oh, this makes me sad, my cider is running out. And don't worry, I love everyone. I have said this before, for this one specific... One specific time, one specific live stream, I'll love everyone. And then in my videos, I'll only love you if you're over 18. Works like that. Right, so we're going to... Hang on, let's save the game beforehand so we don't cock anything up. Uh-huh. So we saved it. And to the magic store. Here we are. We find... It's just you know, such the magic store. The branch of the mall looks like a dead end. There's only one shop front and it's blacked out with a coming soon sign on the door. But as I get closer, the patch of wall suddenly blurs and shimmers into a second door. Marked with a star. Marvellous magical look. Why does... Uh, black screen, yeah. There we are. Black screen's gone. Should be anyway. Yeah, there we are. Black screen's gone. So, we're now inside the thing. You guys can help me because I think you can only have um one thing of each. Like, you can't have a Halo and a Tiara. As far as I'm aware. Come on, help me out here, guys. Uh, so do we want glass? We want wacky glasses. And also, I know it's not black. If if it's still a black screen, there's someone's wearing. Does every does so right, buy everything? I'll buy everything. I'll, I'll buy everything, and then we can like try it on like a girl. Uh, adding an air of sophistication as well as making it easier to ride. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Buy. Yes. Protective gear. Bye. Uh, I remember the wacky glasses is like something Elton John would wear. Furry. Oh my god. All right. Well, that, that seems horrible. Amulet. Yes. Halo. Yes. I'm not sure what else I need all this money for. Tiara. That, that looks horrible. As far as I remember. Fairy wings. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. Bat wings is what we're is what we're wearing. I've said this before. Uh, wand. That looks like... Oh no, this is Star Wand, which looks like it's just cheese on the end of a stick. And Wiggle Wand. That is definitely someone's cock on the end of a stick. Wiggle Wand, come on. It's either that or it's a worm, and it's trying to worm its way somewhere. Uh-huh, there we are. Right, I've bought everything, right? I think everyone saw me buy everything. Is everyone happy? I have to assume everyone's happy. I forgot the fairy wings. Are you sure? Alright, let's do that anyway. 
I, I swear I did do this, but sure. I already have one. There you are. You're wrong. Um, the sextant. I got the sextant. Right, well, I'm done shopping in that case. I finished my shopping and joined my fellow students to return. It's a thingy. Uh, after breakfast, I sit down to figure what I could have possibly write. Um, to my parents. I could tell them about the strange professors here and that I'm planning to romance one, but I don't want to sound like a complaining or put in some sort of prison. There are lots of silly stories about the things that happened during initiation, but I'm not sure if I can really appreciate them if you weren't there. They might think it sounds like bullying or rape. I guess I should tell them about my bedroom and the food here, things like that, so they don't worry about me. They'll want to know that I get enough sleep and I remember to brush my teeth. And my roommates, I should write about them. We've been so busy, we don't know each other all that well yet. But they're both good people. Poor Ellen's had a hard time of it this week with initiation. So I'm sure she's glad that over. Oh, black screening. All right, there we are. And we're back. Cool. As for magic, well, I've learned a few things, but I haven't really done any proper magic yet. Just classroom exercises and well, so I'll wait a while before I tell them what much I've made about that. Uh, mail doesn't go on Sunday, so I fold my letter up and stick it in an envelope, but I don't seal it yet. I can get a stamp from the on-campus post office tomorrow. Yeah! Magic, and we use post office. God knows why. It's a bit like, um, uh, people in Harry Potter. And they've just got this one owl for the whole school if you don't have an owl to deliver shit yourself. I got those. And also, Leola, I haven't the foggiest why it keeps going black screen. It's the first time I've used it in live stream, so your guess is as good as mine. I think I'll go for a walk. Hang on, is it something to do where it's not stretched out enough, maybe? Hang on, there we are. I'm just playing around with the settings a little bit. Oh, fuck knows. <laughs> it could be anything. I wander around the campus wondering how long the leaves will stay green. This is a magical place. So it might be like this all year. I'd miss the fall colours though. Um, right. I wonder what witches and wizards do for Halloween. Dress up like normal people? As I'm thinking that, my own personal Halloween decoration makes an appearance. He's smiling but he seems to brush it straight past me because he hates me and then I can tell him to fuck off later. Hi Damien! He looks at me oddly. What are you up to? Want to do something together? Why? To be friendly because we're bored to go in a room together and have sex? No? Okay. Not that bored. Without a further, he brushes past me and away. What just happened here? Virginia comes up behind me. He is uh, reenacting Twilight. There you are. I told you so. Told me what? That he's evil. I was just talking to my brother about him to get the scoop. He's a total womanizer. William says last year he left every sophomore in Butterfly Hall crying in the bathroom at some point. Oh dear. He gets girls' hopes up, but then when they fall in love with him, he dumps them. What a bastard. I'm not dating him. The point is, he's a jerk. If you forget you ever knew him, you'll be better off. I will. There must be some misunderstanding. I know Virginia doesn't like Damien, but he was nice to me. Maybe he's just having a really bad day and we won't get to speak to him for a couple of weeks, as it should be. If he doesn't want to talk to me right now, there's no point in chasing after him. Come on, let's go to the gym and play. Okay. I want to try my shit on. I want to try my shit on. Oh, I can try my shit on! Right, put it on. Oh, so much for an amulet. An amulet's crap. What's that about? Come on. The only reason Edward isn't dead is because Blade doesn't think of him as a real vampire. Amen to fucking that. Uh, an amulet. Where's the amulet? Um... Oh my god, what, what sexton. Great, alright. What is the amulet equivalent out of these lot? Protective gear? Oh wow. I look like a person who's going around a fucking like nuclear bomb site. Oh dear. Oh well. Right, so many blue magic. Halo. I can't, I don't think I can wear everything. Oh wow. So if I try and wear the halo and the tiara. Oh wow, I can actually wear everything. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, bat wings. Yes, son. 
I can have both fairy wings and bat wings. Dude, that 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 looks silly. So that's probably what you do. Fairy set. Yeah, I'm now a cat. I've now got a tail. Glasses. We'll put on the glasses. Can we put on the wacky glasses as well? Oh, snap, son, snap, snap. Uh, what else have we got on? Sextant, star wand. We got a tiara. You can only have one wand, can't you? What wants the smithsonian? Oh my dear lord. Dear Lord, what is that? A squid on a stick. Well, that really does give, like, you know, seafood a whole different new term. I'm liking that, personally. I think I'm going to stick with the uh, squid wand over that. <laughs> oh, dear, I look like such a brick. <laughs> Oh, God. Right, I've got both glasses on, I think. Have I got these on? Put it on. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so if I take them off. So now I've got to put my wacky glasses back on. Yes! So, I think I've now got everything. Hey, what I'm wearing is the wiggle one, Sarah, just thought I'd say. So, I think I look amazing now. I'm ready to battle the world of magic. I have my protective gear, which is no use against fire. I have my squid on a stick. I have my queen. I am now an angel. I, I, I'm suddenly a cat. I've got fairy wings and I'm a bat. I'm not too sure about those fairy wings. Hang on. Let's uh, remove it. I suddenly look much better. Without the fairy wings, it's a hundred times better. It's got to be the bat wings. And the sextant, that's there as well. They, they, that's it. We gotta go like that. I wonder what you do with that wiggle wand if you can like shove it anywhere. <laughs> but you know, that's uh, another thing. Right, um, done. There, it's done. Right, save the game now. We've got all our shit. Save. There we are. Let's go to next week. Oh damn! Look at that! Look at the magic! The magic! Oh yeah! <laughs> Oh, the magic. Oh, death to the screen. One day, I'll find out why this is happening. But for now, unfortunately, I don't know. So that will... Uh, there we are. It's got the ready. Right. Hey, wait up. Phew, I caught you, says Virginia. What? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, exactly. You need to take a class to take the spells. So Luna was on there and then Solo Mega Man was right there. So <laughs> let's do that. Sign up for clubs of this week. I wanted to make sure that you were on board for the sports team. Liz says no, but Anish is in. I know who... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to stop laughing. <laughs> Let's go on. What sport are we doing exactly? Does it matter? We can vote on that later. First I have to get around enough people to agree and find out what sort of team we can manage. Promise you'll join? Sure, I guess. Oh, God. Right, great. We have official sign-ups on Wednesday afternoon, so go to the gym then. Uh, and as long as we're both doing it, Ellen will have to stop studying and join in. She waves and jogs away. So, what am I doing this week? Uh, we're doing one of each so we can get all the spells. I'll turn in. Hope, hopefully, Grabner likes the uh, complete spack look. There we are. I better not fucking fail. Right, Breeze. 
push objects, so that's useful for the um, uh, bridge as well, if I want to do that, but I can fail that anyway. Uh, warm, oh god. Anyone who watched me do anything when I started playing Magical Diary knows my thoughts on warm. Oh my god, what a pathetic spell that is. <laughs> Uh, spark, um, as far as I'm aware, that does fuck all as well. Um, slash, blast, bloody hell. Okay, crush, shazam, warm, yeah, exactly. No, 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 Captain Minamitsu, first of all, Reset isn't adorable. I want to shoot her in the, sh in the head. Simple as that. And warm is useful for nothing. I remember having a conversation with Luna back when I was doing Magical Diary and she said she hadn't found a use for warm yet. So if Luna can't find one, it's done. Th that's it. No one can find one. It's as simple as that as far as I'm concerned. Pop-Tart reset is hot. Um... Well, if you're into six-year-old girls, go ahead, go ahead. Right, true sight. Allows the caster through illusions in the current location. Allows the caster to see a new by location. Teleport other. Teleport self. Completely removes visibility in the caster's location. Interrupts the casting of the spell, causing it to fizzle. Sacrifices some of the caster's magic, causing a target to lose magic. Similarly, communicate with a willing subject on a nearby location. Interrupts targets casting or indirect spell onto the floor. Fucking hell. How many spells? How many spells do you need to do to get past this? And Pop-Tart, I had no idea that you were Candle, so that makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> um, move an enchantment from one object to another. Right then. God, Pop-Tart, if you'd have said that you were Candle beforehand, I'd have known who the hell you were. <laughs> I've been the last god knows how many minutes trying to guess. Um, right. Determines the current state of a health of living target and locates elements and injuries. Track sense, heal, boost strength, sicken, slow, blind. I've got blindfolds for that. Uh, black screen, really? I didn't even see anything go on. God knows. Yeah, I think it's because I'm just using that blind spell. That, that, that's what's going on there. I learned a new spell, and there's poison, uh, sleep, and there'll be a more. Oh no, there's gymnasium. Yeah, I remember this. Like it, it, it's like um, the twist. You can dance a twist to this music. It's old school. Right. Uh, I arrive at the gym to see a haphazard collection of booths and tables and clouds and the classmen swirling around them yes um, this is what we like this is a uh, this is what we like uh, Raven Darkstar from Snake Hall is with a group that appears to be the drama club someone else has saved the dragon's banner saved them from what and it is it's my soulmate so uh, you know as you do Ellen's already here, standing by the wall, looking around before joining the throng. Hey, you guys! Come on, you have to put your names on the form to make it official. My sign-up's over there. Also, just a quick plug. If anyone is here, and it's not through one of the various videos I've made, and doesn't know who I am, I do have a YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash It's in the link below thingy, so you can subscribe there if you're just new. Because there are a few names in the chat thing I don't recognise. So, you know, that's the plugging over. Uh, <laughs> come on. You have to put your names on the form to make it official. My sign-up's over there. Eh? Virginia grabs us both and drags us over to her station. Sign it, sign it! Uh, Alright, already. Let me go of my wrists. Sorry. You sign it, I have to go grab some more people. She hurries away, Ellen sighs and picks up the pen. Uh, let us sign up, because she gets pissed off. Uh, if you tell her, you don't have to. I wait for Ellen to write her name on the form, then I sign beneath that. I'm going to look around and see what other clubs there are, okay? I guess I should too. 
I wonder if magical universities care about all you. Uh, the club's in a magical school. If there is a magical honor society, as Ellen and I uh, move around the room and do something, I see someone jump up onto stage. They start singing vigorously, maybe even rape and whatnot. But yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Um. Right. Uh huh. It's Donald's Virginia's other brother. Uh, I don't know if. Um. Starly Pie is here. Still. But you go into the Python console, you hit my money equals, and then whatever you want it to be. So that's how you do it. She just sent me a message over YouTube. So, you know. Uh, it's Donald, Virginia's older brother. Uh, Jack. <sighs> I, you say how does one make a good gaming YouTube channel as if I'd know how to make a good YouTube gaming channel. I play games and make silly jokes. It's, it's, it is as simple as that. Um, he pounds his fist on his chest a few times, then takes a deep breath. He shouts out like a gorilla, like King Kong. He'll be shut down in a minute. Brooms for old shoes, pouch rings, boots and baskets. I'm singing to the Harry Potter theme. Yeah, fuck it, let's, let's keep going like that. He has a surprisingly good voice, strong and clear, even if the words are a nonsense. Will you buy any new broom? Do, 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 do. Yeah, <laughs> and then Jacob from Falcon Hall stands up behind him and starts the song from the beginning as Donald continues. It's a round like Frere Jacques, but a strange one. Uh, after they f uh, finish singing, hang on, about spools and ceiling wax or whatever the boys grand lies bows and I appealed uh, and I applaud along with the s other students who were paying attention it's not my kind of music but they were pretty good at it uh, come this way to sign up for coral uh, more science girls I await it uh, yeah I'll, I'll be doing science girls at some point but I recorded it on my Mac before and that broke so <laughs> that's that's why uh, they wave and around, jump down on the stage. Coral sounds like fun. Eh? I'm not interested, but I follow Ellen anyway to be polite. Uh, hello ladies, here to sign up for- Wait, I know you. How much rehearsal do you have to do in Coral? Uh, your urchin's roommates. What are you doing here? She said you were joining for a stupid sports thing. Yeah, Ray, you can sod off. I'll, I'll explain to you what happened afterwards, but it's not what you think. Uh, I can't do both. Well, what if we schedule things at the same time? You gotta pick which side you're on, mine or hers. Uh, that's rude. But Ellen just laughs. It's okay, I know how you feel. I have a little sister too. Uh, you do. You never mentioned her. We're very, uh, different people. And, um, yeah, I am going to finish the game of Science Girls as I see that's a rising in thing. I spoke to Hanukkah Games and they said they send me a Windows copy, which I've got. So I just need to power through it quickly and get to the point where I was at. And remember to go outside this time as well. But, yeah. But hopefully that'll, uh, be done soon. But, yeah, anyway, let's get on with the game. Like, two and a half hours in and we're still in September. Great. Jenny is not interested in magic or books or sports. She just wants to be a ballerina and have everybody love her. Is she spoiled rotten? Does she get away with everything even though she started it? Basically. Ha! See, little sisters are a menace. One time, Urchin melted a cherry ice pop all over my math homework. And mum and dad wouldn't believe I didn't do it. Is if I'd eat that junk. Oh, bloody hell. People are, uh... Getting a bit over, uh, you know, Mac versus Windows in there. Just to throw another one into the mix. Where does everyone think Linux is at? <laughs> so that's a good one, isn't it? Right. Uh, so they wouldn't spell it off. I had to hear about it from them and my teacher at school. Because because uh, she's a messy eater. Jenny used to hate it if I locked the door to study in private. She would stand outside and scream until Mama would make me hurt her in. Um, yeah, you know what it is. Anyway, it's cool if you just want to sign up for Coral. I'd like to try it, but if it gets in the way of schoolwork, I'll have to stop. Yeah, whatever. What about you, uh, whatever your name is? Me? My name is Oguyolo. 
this is um clearly a really easy name there is no way I'm singing in public yeah I'm way too shy to be seen out in public doesn't my attire show that off god um, I think I'd be better to see how Virginia is doing I hurry away right activity black magic success yes Leo oh yeah shitload of spells inspection encryption trigger detect charm open stone shape seal oh there we are the seal it's like when you learn that and you cast it does someone just start singing a kiss from a rose is that a thing um right these spells spirit sight empathy communication awareness spirit echoes tap the flow distraction fear and that's it also sarah there's no need to be horrible to me i plugged your fucking channel earlier oh for fuck's sake again working there we are virginia is sticking a piece of paper to the wall with blue putty what's that members list we did it we have enough people for an official club even if Liz still refuses to join because I said I wasn't right, riding wasn't a real sport. Uh, it's mostly wolves and horses, but I kind of expected that. Oh, Balthasar signed up too. I hope it's because he wants to play and not because he likes me. Yeah, because that'd be horrible. You don't like toads? Horrible Donald put real toads in my bed when I was little. He was crushed that I didn't scream when I saw them. How is that? How, how is that like suddenly, oh, I'm scared of toads because well, I don't want to speak to toads. I don't fancy toads because my brother put toads. I mean, that's like you dropping an ice cream as a kid and then, oh, well, I can't eat ice cream. Sad face. But yeah, what I know, right? Um, I still kicked his butt for being mean to the poor toads. I didn't think they liked my bed. Do you guys always fight? Pretty much. He's been pulling stupid pranks on me since I was practically a baby. A baby. Uh, it's... I thought all brothers did that. Not William. He's the best big brother ever. Uh, lucky. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, see? Lucky. That's what I am. And I do know how to pass the first test. Uh, I did it originally with red, and I think that's how it worked. What do I do? Do I study, guys? What, what do I do? Help me out, sad face. Help me out. I'm going to cry if no one does. I just thought I'd point that out. Uh-huh. Mall, study. Come on. What we got going? What we got going? Do we want to go to the mall? Do we want to go to study? Mall, mall. I'm feeling that the general thing is that they want me to go to the mall but I'm not entirely sure why it's it, it it's a mall just does everyone still want me to go there or because the only thing I can do is like eat and I, there's a little scene after the first exam uh, where if you pass something happens isn't there mall 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 uh, most people say mall and Luna says mall so that uh that clings it. Mall. What are we going to do in the mall? What are we going to do in the mall? Claw machine. Yeah, I'm not going to cheat though. I just thought I'd point that out. Uh, so we're going to go to the games arcade. Uh-huh. Use claw machine. One dollar. Damn it. So this takes all the rabbit, but reaches it in the exit key. That's so frustrating. Um, I'm not using any magic here because I know what happens. You get serious talking down to you and fuck all happens anyway. Give up. Dresses increases by one. That's a bit harsh. Alright, not to worry then. I lost. Ah, here's our uh, letter. I'm gonna um, read it in a kind of emotional, sentimental voice. Like, you know, you've, you've moved away to a country for five years and it's been a while and the guy's getting desperate. <sighs> I've gotten no, I've only gotten one letter from you so far. What's happening back home? I miss you. I've met so many people here and most of them are nice, but 
it's it's just not the same my roommates and I we uh you know we uh started a sports club but uh we had our first meetings day and we played some pickup soccer so don't worry I'm getting plenty of exercise um I don't know why I've turned American I just, I just think I have uh, also it's not called soccer it's called football because you know Americans got that wrong I, I, I just thought I'd point that out. Please write soon. Love, Argu. With a sigh, I seal the envelope and put it on my desk, ready to send. It hasn't even been a month yet, but I can't help feeling homesick. I just have to take each day as it comes. There you are. Do, do, do you all feel emotional and sad? Are you on the edge of crying? Because if you are, that, that that's kind of sad because my accent was awful. <laughs> Oh dear, right, uh, I decided to go for a walk around the campus. Uh, as I'm wandering around the buildings, I notice a tall figure tossing up a ball in, in the air and catching it. As I get closer, I realise I'm wrong. He's not throwing it and catching it, he's not touching it at all. This is the thing I mentioned in the beginning. Where we seem to be open, people can just walk straight past this school. Yet yeah, this guy's got a wand and he's bouncing a ball. No one says a thing. William points his hand at the ball, holding it suspended in midair. With a flick of his wrist, he sends it flying upwards, where it eventually reverses course, and comes back down again, to be caught where he manages to line up with his wand in the falling space. What are you doing? Control exercise. Is that hard? It's a matter of keeping your focus, keeping your rhythm, and not using too much force, or it'll get away. If you want to show, you do this with an egg. Makes it more obvious when you miss. And, you know, that way we have to go for a shower afterwards. I see. Uh, sure, can I try? Can I try with the ball? If you really want to. Catch! He flicks the ball high up into the air and steps out of the way. I've got really high everything, surely. I must drop my energy to push against the ball as it's falling. It slows and starts to rise and fall and rise. I can push it, but I can't keep the energy enough to hold it still. After a moment, it gets loose and it falls away at an angle. God damn, that's the first time it's ever worked. Dear Lord. Oops. Hey, don't worry, you're only a freshman. This is upper class stuff. You're not supposed to be able to do it. Bragging. That's true, William's a senior. Not only that, he's senior class president. He's probably really good at magic. You're better off practicing spells that are meant for your level, especially right now. If you know what I mean. Huh? You'll find out. Yeah, look like a prick. He winks and then goes back to pick up his ball. Practice. I suppose I should get back to my dorm and think about what I'm going to do next week. Yes, ex exactly, Akia Kanejan. Use the force, Luke. Uh, there's nothing here I can do. Apart from all these fucking useless spells. Uh -huh. Right, bollocks. So, we're going to go into next week. Is there anything I should know? Oh, shit. We've got a cutscene. Virginia yawns and stretches. Uh, time for another week of the grind. What? Oh, what? Well, the first big exam is this week, right? Sure. Who's giving the exam? What are we expected to know? When does it happen? <laughs> Yes, exactly. No idea. Aren't you supposed to know these things? Your family? Well, actually your family with regards to that. Look, I am your father. But no, no, let's stop with the Star Wars <laughs> references. Virginia waves her hand dismissively. Secrets, all kind of secrets. William says if he tells me what's on the test, then the test wouldn't be fair. Well, it would be wrong for him to tell you the answers. That's cheating and William would never do something like that. But you must know something. What kind of tests are the... Uh, do we have to write essays or fight jewels? Yes, they would make people burn each other and fight jewels. And anyway, who'd want to take on me? I've got a squid and a stick, bitch. Come at me. Oh, God, my neck's so dry. Look, all I know is that it's about casting spells. That's it. Now, come on, we have to pick our schedules for the next week. Right, guys, anything? Help me out here. <laughs> um, do I... Is there anything which triggers a specific event? Is there anything I should know? 
Blue, I cast Breeze. No, the Breeze is too much. Yes. Blue, so... I think it's just the normal white and blue, right? People seem to love white. Sleep, study, gym, red, green. Luna, do you care to say why it's sleep, study, gym, red, green? Instead of blue, blue, white, 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 or... Is, is that because blue, I've already learned teleport, and that's all that's worth. And I don't know what white does, because I've never studied that, I don't think. I should probably sleep, because of stress, that makes sense. But uh, anything else? Care to explain? No? No one? Alright, not to worry. Uh, Jack, do have a good time uh, resting and whatnot. And yeah, do, Jack, when are you going to the game? Look if I've got it already. Just, just saying. Alright, so sleep, study, gym, red, green. Gotcha. Let's save it, just in case I cock something up. Ever right. Return. And done. There we are. Let's go through to this week. Sleeping reduces stress. Okay, studying. I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't remember why. Uh, 